Hey cats, I hope you've been able to enjoy the pretty day. I had a great time. I played tennis and I've run around just a whole lot because it was such a good day. I was safe, but I um, had a really good time um, playing tennis. And I was thinking about today being Friday and a lot of times on Fridays we get pizza. So I have this great book called Tony and the Pizza Champions. So, um, I want y'all to, to think about this book and think about what your favorite pizza is and get your parents to tell me. So I want to hear back from all my little friends. I know I've got a bunch of y'all that are watching now. We've got Charles and Miles and um, we've got Caroline and Hayes and Wren and William. So lots and lots of friends are watching now. Um, and Sam and Evie, I saw you today, Sam. I'm sorry I was on the phone when when we were right when I um, saw you on the bike. Okay, ready? Tony and the Pizza Champions. Like lots of people all over the world, Tony loves pizza. But Tony doesn't just love eating pizza; he loves tossing it too. Tony is so good at tossing pizza dough that everyone calls him Tossing Tony. He can do the whip and the cross the shoulders and his very best move is the double trouble. Tony's friends love tossing pizza too. Tony's friend Ken can do a move called the whirlwind. He tosses so fast that his friends call him Quick Ken. Tony and Ken work at the same pizzeria in California. One day, while Tony was practicing his tossing moves, Ken opened a letter that had come all the way from Italy. Tony took one look at the letter and dropped his dough with a splat. Hold the anchovies, Tony said. This looks important. Dear Tony, you and your team are cordially invited to attend the World Pizza Championship in Italy. You will compete against teams from around the world to see who can serve up the best pizza to tossing performance. Good luck, the World Pizza Judges. There's his letter. You see the stamps coming from Italy? The World Pizza Championship, Tony cheered. Let's go! Yeah, Ken said, but wait, don't we need a whole team? We do, said Tony, so we're going to have to build the perfect team. Just like we build the perfect pizza, finished Ken. To the pizza mobile, said Tony. Ray, do y'all have a pizza mobile? Because we do not have one. Tony and Ken hopped aboard the Pizza Mobile and set off on a trip across the United States. Our first stop is in Ohio, said Tony, to pick up Mighty Mike and Strong Sean. Y'all know who goes to college in Ohio? Sally does. Y'all know Sally, or most of you do. She's around now. California is the home of the first pizza made with barbecue sauce instead of tomato sauce. In New Mexico, people put spicy green chilies on their pizza. In Philadelphia, some people wrap pizza slices around cheesecake sandwiches. In Texas and other parts of the Southwest, people like to put pizza in ranch dressing. That's pretty good. In Connecticut, restaurants serve pizza with clams on top. In St. Louis, a mixture of white cheddar, Swiss, and provolone cheese is popular instead of put instead of mozzarella. In Rhode, in Rhode Island, you can order pizza that's cooked on a grill, just like hamburgers. In Florida, people like to top their pizza with banana peppers. Helen likes that. Um, sweet peppers that are yellow like bananas. The first pizzeria in the United States was opened in New York City in 1905. So here they go in the pizza mobile all around the country.
The pizza mobile screeched to a halt in front of Sean's house. Someone was on the front lawn spinning a huge circle of pizza dough. It was so big you couldn't see who was tossing it. That's strong, Sean, said Tony. I'd recognize those shoes anywhere. But where's Mighty Mike, asked Ken. Suddenly, someone also emerged from underneath the spinning dough. Hey guys, how can I help you, asked Mike, rolling dough over his shoulders. That was Mike's favorite move, the rapid fire. Tony and Ken asked Mike and Sean if they would join their team. You bet your pizza dough, said Mike and Sean together. All four guys piled into the pizza mobile and hit the road. It was a tight squeeze. It's a good thing I ordered an extra large van, thought Tony. The next stop was South Carolina, where Tony's friend Silly Siler had a pizza parlor. They arrived just in time for dinner. The place was packed. And where was Siler? Just then, a young man burst out of the kitchen. He was tossing dough in each hand and riding a unicycle at the same time. Happily, Siler agreed to join the team as long as he could bring his unicycle. The last stop was New York City, home of the first pizzeria in the United States and the home of famous Joe. When the guys arrived in the city, Joe was ready to go. That's one of the things famous Joe is famous for, said Tony. He's got great timing. Famous Joe is also famous for doing the sky high. He can toss the dough high into the, into the air, catch it in one arm, and roll it across his back to the other arm. Can any of y'all do that? Now that the team was assembled, it was time to practice, practice, practice. After hours of tossing, the guys were really tired, but it had been worth it. Now they had an absolutely unbelievable, totally incredible routine. It was so good that it was top secret. The next day, the team flew to Italy. They couldn't practice tossing dough on the plane, so instead they talked about all the different ways people eat pizza around the world. In Brazil, some people like ketchup on their pizza. In England, people order pizza with sweet corn and tuna fish topping. In Argentina, people often put salsa golf, which tastes like Thousand Island dressing on pizza instead of tomato sauce. In France, you can get an egg with an, well, you can get a pizza with egg on top. Daddy Fant was really surprised when he got ordered pizza and had egg on top. In Sweden, you can expect to, let's see, in Sweden you can expect to get a side of coleslaw with your pizza. In some parts of Italy, people get french fries on their pizza. I like that. In Japan, you can order a pizza with mayonnaise, squid ink, or fish eggs on it. So, Nick sisters, what do you think about that? Y'all let me know. Greetings from Italy. There they've landed in Italy. Finally, the big day was here. The day of the World Pizza Championship. When Tony and his team arrived at the competition, dough was flying as teams from around the world showed their skills. The team from Japan tossed dough in a great circle behind their backs, over their heads, between their legs, into their heads. Next up was Austra the Australian team. They formed a long line one by one, tossed the dough in the air, jumped over the person in front of them, and caught the dough before it fell. They looked like a mob of pizza-tossing kangaroos.
The team from Brazil tossed dough round and around the big whirling circle that looked like a pizza tornado. The team from Italy did headstands and back flips so fast that their costumes were just a blur of color. Pizza dough flew, flew back and forth in arcs high above them. At last, it was time for Tony's team to perform. They all wiped the sweat from their brows and tried not to think about the competition. Teamwork, they said to themselves. It's all about teamwork. First, Ken stepped forward, spinning around and tossing dough behind his back so quickly that it looked like a twirling ice skater. Then Mike joined him, pulling Doe across his shoulders as fast as he could. Then famous Joe put joined in, tossing Doe way up high and quickly catching it on his shoulders. Tony was in the very front performing his best move, the double trouble. Then Sean appeared. He he lined up with Mike and Ken, and then they lifted Joe and Tony onto their shoulders. The only one missing was Silly Siler. Where was he? From off in the distance, a, sh a shape came, I'm sorry, from off in the distance, a shape came speeding toward them. It was Silly Siler on his unicycle. He was juggling two circles of dough on his, as he rode closer and closer. Suddenly, Siler jumped off the unicycle and leaped high into the air. He landed right on Joe and Tony's shoulders. Everyone held steady. They had done it. They had formed the Pizza Pyramid. One by one, the judges held up their hands and they said, 10, 10, 10. Tony and his team had earned a perfect score. Bravo, said the judge as he presented the team with gold medals. Tossing Tony, you and your team are now the world pizza champions. As the crowd cheered, Tony turned to his team and said, just like the perfect pizza, our team had all the right ingredients. So what did y'all think of that story? I love it. But there's something else about this story. So, part of it is real. That, this is, meet the real world pizza champions. Tony and his team have won more than more than 10 World Pizza Championship titles. And there are their pictures. Okay. Be nice to your parents. Bye-bye.